Hi, my name's Dart and welcome to my Clan Wars series, and I'm about to share with you the secret of the Lava Loon attack. Now before we get into it, I should say this video isn't for beginners. In order to understand the stuff I'm going to talk about, you really need to have already seen my Penta Lava Loon tutorial, and also done Lava Loon attacks yourself. So if you haven't done those things, then pause this video, go and watch the Penta one, then do the attack a few times, and then come back and watch it. But if you have, then I want to talk a little bit about pathing. Now, pathing is what we call it when we get a defense-seeking troop, so a, a balloon, a hog, a giant, or a golem. The way they move through a base is what we mean when we say pathing. So, uh, a, a balloon, for instance, on my base would start on that cannon, and then it would go to that archer tower, and then it would either go to this archer tower or this air defense. That would be the natural pathing. Now, what we want to create is called optimal pathing, because say we want the balloon to get to that air defense, understandably to kill it, we would need to make sure this archer tower dies first. So the secret to Lava Loon attacks is to create optimal pathing on the base that you're fighting. Now sometimes the natural pathing and the optimal pathing will be the same thing. Usually that's only on symmetrical bases. That's why certain famous YouTubers will tell you that you can only use Lava Loon attacks on symmetrical bases. I'm here to tell you that you can use them on any base you like. You just need to understand this secret. So, let's have a look at a couple of replays. So the first attack I show you is going to be by a new member of Centum to Studio, a guy called Lord Shelton. He's a good attack, a uh, good attacker. He hit a base which is often referred to as the PCB, the popular Chinese base. There we go. So, this is the base. Uh, people think it's a, an anti-lava loon base because it's not symmetrical. The air defences are also behind um, uh, a wall of, of, uh, of normal defences. The Queen is quite difficult to get to and it confuses people. So um, so let's have a look at Shelton's attack. So he, he uses a few giants, two to pull out the CC, and then the heroes as usual will kill the CC. Now Shelton's going to use two hounds on this air defense because it's the closest one to the queen, one up here and one over here. But watch watch the balloon deployment because that's the key to the par thing, of course. So we get two balloons up here. Those two I think were meant for that archer tower, but they ended up on that cannon. Then four on that cannon, two on this archer tower. He rages these ones, two up here and two down here. Those balloons are already on that air defense, that's fine. These balloons kill the wizard tower and then head for that air defense, that's good. These balloons, um, well, first lot die to the wizard tower, then they go to the mortar. Now they're all on the mortar, and then they go to the expo. This one, because it was delayed a bit, ended up on the uh, air defense first, actually, but he had to use that rage spell in order to get them off the expo. Then they do the archer tower, and then the wizard tower. And by now we're all growing old and dying. And his balloons are dying as well. And at that point they just said, ah, forget it. And they gave up. In fact, I think we could have probably given him about 30 balloons and he'd still be there trying to three-star it now. So the problem wasn't with the lure or with the heroes or even with the rage positioning. The problem was the pathing. So let's have a look at another example of an attack on a very, very similar base. So that was their number 13, this is their number 10. Obviously this works on any kind of base. The reason I'm showing PCB bases is because it's easier to compare the attacks when you see them on the same kind of base. But you can do this on any kind of Town Hall 9. So, whenever I'm preparing a, a clan war attack, I take a screenshot of the base. And I've actually put that screenshot in the description to this video. So at the end of the video, go into the description and look at the screenshot because it will show you exactly what I'm talking about now. So what I do, the first thing I have to figure out is how to get the lure. So if we look at the clan castle, uh, I like to kill archer towers during my lure because the archer towers obviously otherwise they'll they'll try and fight the balloons or, or the hounds. If you can get the archer towers down during the lure then that's that's really effective. That's That means that those troops aren't wasted basically. So here we've got a nice archer tower which is close to the edge and also within range of the CC. So we use a couple of balloons on that, so we can scrub that out on our screenshot. Then, I draw little arrows from every single defence to the next closest defence. The goal, of course, being 
to see how quickly I can get to the air defences. So the white arrows that you see on the screenshot will be from one normal defence to another normal defence. The red arrows will be the path to get into the air defences. So in order to get to this air defence, if we start off by dropping two balloons on this cannon, two balloons on this archer tower, then we can put in four balloons up here and they will automatically target that cannon, because remember we've already killed this arch tower, so that then becomes the nearest defence, even if this one's still alive. So we've then got four balloons headed in to that air defence, then we drop two up here to take out that cannon, then over here we've got this arch tower which leads directly to this air defence, so that's just one step, so, so, two, so two steps including the arch tower, we have to kill the arch tower, then we can kill the air defence straight away. We've got exactly the same thing down here, we've got Archer Tower, Air Defense. So basically, we have to take out this, this, and this. We've already killed that Archer Tower during the lure, and then we can put four balloons up here to get a two-step jump to that Air Defense, four balloons down here to get a two-step jump to that Air Defense, and four balloons down here to get a two-step jump to that Air Defense. Now we need to kill the Queen, so this Air Defense needs two hounds. Uh, these two, because there are only two steps, only need one each. That leaves us one hound left. So that hound obviously is going to have to get to this air defence and we need to figure out which balloons are going to make it to that air defence. So if we plan it from this air defence, the balloons then have to go to the wizard tower. Then there's usually a Tesla either in here or at least in the core. So they'll then go to either a Tesla there or to that expo, then to these Teslas, then to that wizard tower. And then depending on how these balloons over here have gotten on, they may have already taken out the mortar and that cannon. They'll either go down to that cannon or across to the air defence. So that's okay, but it's one, two if there's a Tesla there, three, four if there's a Tesla there, five, six, or seven. So that's seven steps. That's quite a long way, to be honest. Now from this side, we have one, two, three. We have to assume that the balloons on that cannon are already going to gonna have taken out that wizard tower. So one, two, three, four, five five steps to get from that side. So these are the ones which we're expecting to get to that air defence and kill it. And then we'll put a rage here, a rage here, a rage here, and then save the fourth rage to speed up whichever balloons are getting there fastest. So that's the plan. Now let's see what happens. So in goes two balloons on the top. There you get the lure. I call this an active lure. If you kill um, a defence, particularly uh, an air defence, so not just a, an air defence, I mean an air defence or an archer tower or an expo, if you kill something that will shoot your balloons during the lure, that is an active lure. Um, whereas if you just use a couple of giants or, or hogs and you don't actually kill any defences, that is what I refer to as a passive lure. So active lures are usually better. So now watch these balloons. See they target that cannon, which is, that's important. So we're getting these down already, then in go the two outside hounds and the four balloons on either side. Then we put the rage in on the queen, she's going down now, then the rage at the top and the rage at the bottom. So three air defences are already down. Then the fifth hound is getting in, now we've got these hound, these balloons over here which are coming up. Yep, there were Teslas in, in the core. Then those balloons they're actually going to beat these ones because they got in the rage first, so that's great, that's really helpful. And then that, there goes the last archer tower. And now if you look at what we've got left, we have got so much of the army left. There are a ton of balloons left, there's still a hound alive in there. There he is, popping out now. Both of the heroes are still up, I mean there are still barbarians in this army. It's, it's just a massacre. And the only way you can do attacks like this is if you sit down and you really work out, you plan the pathing. So I, I highly recommend you have a look in the description now, open that screenshot, have a look at it, really understand it. As I say, the red arrows are how to get into the air defences, the white arrows are from one normal defence to the other. I, I hope you guys enjoy that. That's, um, that is the secret, as far as I'm concerned, to Lava Loon attacks. If you have any questions, please put them below in the comments. If you liked it, then please take three seconds and give me a thumbs up. Uh, please share these videos with your clan mates. And um, if you're not already subscribed, then do that too. And until the next time, guys, happy clashing.